What up guys, it's Josh here from Colossus Fitness, your form coach, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to perform the seated cable row for more gains, for more safety. Let's waste no time, let's jump into this exercise. Gyms are gonna be very different. This gym's a little weird because I got this whole system going on here. I'm not crazy about it, but you gotta work with what you got. Most of them will be fairly similar. You'll have different opportunities to use different attachments. This is a great one to start out with. Once again, if you're going for a seated cable row, you wanna grow the back. You can play around with wide grips, narrow grips, single arm grips, a lot of things, but we're gonna start with this one today. So some of the key things here with this movement is before we even actually grab this cable and pick it up, it's really important you know what a row is. So people will get very wrong because they'll actually hunch their back forward and they'll be rowing with their spine, which is very, very wrong. You wanna row with your muscles. Just the same, we don't wanna be curling. I can actually mirror a lot of a row within a curl. So it's really important you learn what a row looks like. And this is super important because for years I was doing this wrong. I actually thought, okay, I have good posture. I'm gonna row like this. And I was rowing through my spine, causing issues there and making that mistake. So it's really important that you focus on this. As you can see here on the screen, this is me doing a row correctly. You can see my spine's upright, I'm bracing through my abs, I'm pulling back through those elbows, and I'm actually squeezing back with my lats, my rhomboids, all those muscles we wanna work. So it's really important you do keep this in mind. Even as you can see on the screen here, this is more of an Arnold style row, and yes, I am pulling forward, but you can see I still have that ab and spinal control to do this properly. Best way to combat that is actually bracing your abs, pretending someone's gonna come and punch you right in the stomach, so you're bracing through those abs, pulling back through those elbows. Now we're gonna mirror this with a weight. So we wanna start with the light weight because we're getting our form mint, then you can naturally progress that, get it higher. So we're gonna grab this. Now what's next and really important is good foot positioning. Make sure you brace those feet nice, grab on, pull back, and this is our starting position. I have good extension. I'm still not letting it pull into my spine or anything like that. I'm at a nice strong position. I'm bracing those abs. I'm gonna pull back from those elbows into those lats, right into my chest. Now for extension, you wanna extend those lats, and there's two ways you can do this. You can stop here, or you can let it drag you a bit. This is more of a bodybuilding Arnold style. I do like doing this, but I find it's a little more advanced. So there's nothing wrong with just learning to pull into your lat, and then stretch forward, bracing those abs. So as you can see me doing here, I'm controlling that negative, letting it stretch my lat out, pulling all the way in, squeezing the muscles in my back, holding that for one second with control, letting it stretch her out once again, bracing those legs, trying to really focus on good, impactful breathing, and that is how it's done. And if you're confused, don't worry. I'm gonna show you three things to make sure you avoid to make sure you get this down perfect. Before I show you the first common mistake, I wanna give you a free gift. First link down below, I have my free form guide. As you can see here, over 70 exercises simply explained. You get before and after pictures how to do it. Quick jot notes when you're in the gym, you need something to refer to quickly. That's my gift to you for watching this video and for bettering yourself. Now let's get into the first mistake. So the first mistake I see all too often here, once again, is using that crazy weight. If you're only doing half reps, you're really limiting your motion. You're really limiting how much muscle you can actually develop. It's really important for the lats, and I actually grew my lats the most as I learned to really work a full range of motion, to really get great extension, really full contraction. And by cheating yourself on this and just trying to go heavy and be a hero, partial reps will only get you so far, and you're leaving a lot of results on the table, and you're leaving yourself pretty susceptible to injury. If you're yanking around 200, 300 pounds and pressing no one, you're gonna get nowhere and you're gonna end up hurting yourself. So really focus, like on the screen, these good quality reps, maximize that form, leave the ego at the door, you'll get more out of this exercise. Next common mistake is what I talked about at the first. So I showed you with no weight, looked a little bit silly. Now I'm gonna look silly again, showing you with weight. As you can see on the screen, don't make any of these three mistakes. You're gonna be shooting yourself in the foot and you could cause injury. Especially you consider your spine. Your spine is best protected by muscles. So when you have a good posture, you're bracing through your abs, your spine's in a good spot. Your spine should not be supporting load. That is not gonna help you, that is not gonna benefit you. So if you're rounding out that spine, it's very different than as you can see here with that Arnold variation or that deep bodybuilding stretch. I still have spinal control. I'm not actually bending my spine through it. So make sure you maintain a brace. You do this the right way. Don't end up messing this one up. Third mistake's a simple one. I doubt you're gonna do this, but I'll save you the embarrassment if you were going to. Uh, just over pulling on the way back. So doing something like this, using the momentum from my legs. This is not what you want to be doing. <laughs> it's a really weird version of a leg press. But thanks for tuning in with me. Now you know what to do, what not to do. And like I said, I got a free gift for you. First link down below. If you want more amazing content, 
Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe. Smash like if I helped you out today. Get out in the gym. Make more gains. Make better progress. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.